back. Now, a businesswoman in Nairobi is calling on police to bring to book fraudsters who conned her of equipment worth 2.5 million shillings. The fraudsters, who claimed to work for the Sitam Church in Buruburu, gave her fake checks for the purchase of equipment, including massage chairs and a public address system. Well, this comes in the wake of fraudsters targeting farmers. Sheila Chelingat reports. I posted some items on uh, Facebook because we thought uh, we were not using them. So I wanted to get rid of them. They were practically new. After a few days, we got some response. There's somebody by the name called uh, Maurice Otieno. He said he works with uh, Sitem. Late September 2022, and this call came as a reprieve to Grace, not her real name, of getting a client to offset her financial situation, oblivious of what lacked ahead. As he was a procurement officer, and if you could send him a price list of the items, which we did by WhatsApp, he selected a number of them. Uh, the total bill came to 2.5. On Monday, 3rd October, the man known as Morris and who said was working for the Sitam Church in Buruburu called again, informing her that the church had appointed two ladies, a youth representative and a senior lady, to inspect and confirm the items that were to be purchased. Morris calls again, says oh, the ladies have arrived. They've confirmed the items, they are okay with them. Uh, they'd like to pick them as quickly as possible because they have events over the weekend. The next day, 4th October, the two ladies arrived and as seen in this CCTV clip, they were taken round to inspect the items. On the same day, Morris again called, confirming the supposed church's approval of the items. And with this, a deal was struck and the mode of payment agreed upon. Can we wire them? I said, no. He asked me, what about a banker's check? I said, yeah. A banker's check? That's fine. At around 4 p.m., a messenger by the name Gabriel arrives with three bankers' checks broken down equally to the sum of 850,000 Kenyan shillings each. Along with him is a driver with a truck to pick up the items. Grace promptly banked the checks. The next day in the afternoon, I went to check because I wanted some money. So the checks had not cleared, but they told me the checks were okay. They've gone through, but I can only cash them the next day. She got a rude shock the next day on her attempt to cash out some of the money. When I checked the ATM, there was no money. There was no money at all. So I went back to the bank. The bank, the same guy who I was dealing with the next day, said, no, no, those checks must have gone through. So when he checked, he saw they had been cancelled. That the owner withdrew. She reported to the Langata police station on the 5th of October. Police investigating the case tracked down the truck and arrested the driver but released him after he told them that he only had been hired for the job. Langata OCPD Monica Kimani said the matter was still under investigation even as they seek to unmask the identities of the individuals involved in the scam. And they told me oh, they found the car but the owner of the truck uh, says he was, just, uh, he was just hired and he was told to dump their items somewhere in Pika Road. An official of the Sitam Buruburu Church told Citizen TV that procurement is done at the church headquarters and not by individual branches. Sheila Chelangat, Citizen TV, Nairobi.